Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue our topic of double integral. It's lecture number two, and today we are going to discuss about case two. In this case, we have given that the limits of x are constant and the limits of y is always dependent or variable. So we'll discuss this one by taking an example. So the question is zero to one zero to x e raised to power y upon x dy and dx. Now clearly it is given that dy we have to take in del first of all respect to y and the limits are in terms of x whereas the limits of this dx they are constant zero to one okay so indicating this part with respect to y so it will be zero to one as it is and we have to integrate with respect to y keeping x as a constant so e raised to power y upon x as it is now coefficient of y is one upon x divided by 1 upon x within the limit 0 to x dx. So 0 to 1. Now 1 upon x will be converted into x times e raised to power y upon x, and then we have limits 0 to x and dx. Now we have to take upper limit minus lower limit. So it will be 0 to 1 x as it is. Upper limit is e raised to power x upon x. Minus now x will be remain as it is. Lower limit is zero. E raised to zero that will be one into dx. So it will be integral zero to one x common e minus of one and dx. Since it is a constant, so I will take it common e minus one. Now integration of x will be x square by two within the limits zero to one. So it will be one by two. E minus one, upper limit one minus lower limit zero, so the result will be half of e minus one, and that is your answer for this question. Hope it is clear. We'll take one more question from this one. So question number two is evaluate double integral zero to one from x square to x, and the function is x square plus three y. Plus two, and then we have dy and dx. Now here again we have to integrate first of all respect to y, and the limits of y are in terms of x. Okay, whereas the limits of x are constant. So integrating this part with respect to y, keeping x as a constant. So zero to one. Now integration of x here that because x is constant, so it will be remain as it is. So that means it will be y. Plus now three constant y in dal will be y square by two plus two is again constant so in dal of this one will be two y within the limits x square to x and d of x so it will be zero to one now I have to upper uh, substitute upper limit minus lower limit if I substitute upper limit that is x so substituting x over here so x into x square x cube plus three by two X square plus two x. This is the upper limit minus lower limit x square. Now if I substitute x square over here, so x square into x square, x is to power four plus three by two x square is to a square. That is again x is to power four plus two x square into d of x. Now expanding all the brackets, so it will be zero to one x cube plus Three by two x square plus two x minus of two one the two two plus three five five by two x is to the four minus two x square and dx so zero to one highest term to be kept as first part so minus five by two x is to the four now cube this is only the term of cube so if, uh, no x cube now square three by two Minus of this two, so taking LCM, so three minus of four by two, that is minus one by two, minus one by two, x square plus two x, and then we have dx. So integrating with respect to x now, so it will be minus five by two into x is to power five by five plus x is to power four by four minus one by two x is to power cube by three plus Two times x square by two within the limits zero to one. Five and five cancel out. 
2 and 2 cancel out. So we are left with minus 1 by 2 x is to power 5 plus x is to power 4 by 4 minus x cube by 3 to the 6 plus x square 0 to 1. Now upper limit minus lower limit 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 plus 1. This is the upper limit minus lower limit is 0. So I will take calcium with respect to now 6 4 is 24. Okay, and 2 is also taken in this one. So 2 12 is a minus 12 plus 6 minus of 4 plus 24. So 24 minus of 12 that will be 12. Now 12 plus of 2 that will be 14. 14 over 24. 2 7 is a 2 12 is a so answer will be 7 by 12 is your final answer for this question. Hope it is clear. One more question of substitution category. So question is question number three. Here we have taken an integral 0 to 2a, 0 to 2a, x minus of x square root into the function is x square plus y square into dy and dx. Now here the limits of y are in terms of x and limits of x are constant. Okay. Now when we are integrating with respect to y, keeping x as a constant now. So 0 to 2a integration with respect to y. So it will be x square y and for y square it will be y cube by 3 from 0 to 2ax minus of x square root into d of x. Okay. Now upper limit minus lower limit. So 0 to 2a x square into root of 2ax minus of x square plus 1 by 3 2ax minus of x square raised to power 1 by 2 and 3 is also there. So it will be 3 by 2. That is the upper limit. When I substitute lower limit, so 0 and 0 will be 0. Now to solve the entire of this part will be quite typical for us. So what I do, I just substitute, we have a substitution method earlier in studying our 12th grade. So in that case, what we were substituting, we always substitute x is equal to 2a sin square of theta such that dx will be equal to 2 to the 4a sin theta and that of sin theta will be cos of theta d theta. Now the coming to the limits when x equal to 0 that means 2a sin square theta equal to 0 in that case theta will be 0 and when x is equal to 2a in this case it will be 2a sin square theta is equal to 2a so these two cancel out and we will get the value sin square 2 in sin square theta is 1 so theta will be equal to pi by 2 okay so rearranging the above integral as 0 to 2a i am taking x constant from this uh, common from this part so it will be x raised to power 1 by 2 outside so 2 plus 1 by 2 it will be 5 by 2 into root of 2a minus of x plus 1 by 3 x is to power 3 by 2 2a minus of x is to a 3 by 2 into d of x now i have to substitute x is equal to 2a sin square theta and limit will be 0 to pi by 2 so 2a sin square theta raised to power 5 by 2 root of 2a minus 2a sin square theta plus 1 by 3 into 2a sin square theta raised to a 3 by 2 into 2a minus of 2a sin square theta raised to a 3 by 2. Now about d theta I have to substitute 4a sin theta cos theta and d theta. So 0 to pi by 2, 2a raised to 5 by 2, not 2 raised to power 
5 by 2 into a raised to power 5 by 2. Now sin square raised to 5 by 2 it will be sin raised to power 5 theta. Now 2a minus of 2a sin square theta. So what I do? I take 2a common. So it will be 1 minus sin square theta plus 1 by 3. 2 raised to power 3 by 2, a raised to power 3 by 2. Now sin square theta raised to 3 by 2. So 2 and 2 cancel out. So we get sin cube theta and I will take 2a raised to 3 by 2 common. So we are left with 1 minus sin square theta raised to power 3 by 2. And outside the bracket we have the term 4a sin theta cos theta and d theta. So 0 to pi by 2, 2 raised to power 5 by 2, a raised to power 5 by 2, sin raised to power 5 theta. Now 2a raised to a root that means 2 raised to power 1 by 2, a raised to 1 by 2. 1 minus sin k theta cos k theta. Cos k theta root will be cos theta only. Plus 1 by 3. 2 raised to power 3 by 2, a raised to power 3 by 2, sin cube theta, 2 raised to power 3 by 2, a raised to power 3 by 2. Now 1 minus sin square theta that is cos square theta. Cos square theta and raised to power 3 by 2 that will be cos cube theta. And outside the bracket we have 4a sin theta, cos theta and d theta. Okay, now collecting all the like terms, 0 to pi by 2, now 2 raised to 5 by 2 and 2 raised to 1 by 2. So 5 plus 1, 6 by 2, that will be cube, 2 cube into a raised to 5 by 2 and a raised to 1 by 2. 5 plus 1, 6, 6 by 2, that is a cube into sin raised to 5 theta, cos theta plus 1 by 3, 2 raised to 1. 3 by 2 and 3 by 2. So it will be 6 by 2. 6 by 2 that will be again cube into a raised to 3 by 2 and a raised to 3 by 2 that will be a cube into sin cube theta cos cube theta and then we have 4a sin theta cos theta d theta. I am taking common 2a cube 2 cube a cube. So 2 cube will be 8 and a cube will be remain as it is. Now 4 is also constant. So 4 of a. Now 0 to pi by 2 sin is to 5 theta into sin theta. Sin is to power 6 theta. Cos is to 1 theta into cos theta. That will be cos is to power square theta. Plus 1 by 3. I have taken this common already. So sin is to power cube into 1. Sin is to 4 theta cos cube into cos, cos of 4 theta and then we have d theta. So using the property or we can say using the formula using 0 to pi by 2 sin p theta into cos of q theta d theta is equal to difference of the odds p minus 1, p minus 3, p minus of 5 and so on till the last term should be positive it should not be negative it should should not be zero okay similarly again q minus 1 q minus of 3 q minus of 5 again the last term should be positive it should neither be zero nor a negative value over sum of p plus q then difference of evens minus 2 p plus q minus 4 up to so on till last term should be even Neither it should be 0 nor it should be negative. Multiply by. Now, if P and Q both are even, then we have to multiply by pi by 2. Otherwise, we will multiply by 1. Now, here 6 and 2, 8 even. 4 and 4, 8 again even. So, we will use multiply by pi by 2. So, 8 fours are 32. So, I will take 32. A raised to power 4. Now, sin 6 cos q so p is 6 and q is 2 so 6 minus 1 6 minus of 3 6 minus of 5 6 minus of 7 so 6 minus of 7 will make a negative value so we have to leave it over here into q minus 1 so q is 2 2 minus of 1 
2 minus of 3 will again make a negative value so leave it over here as it is over sum now 6 plus 2 8 into 8 minus of 2 so that will be 6 and then 8 minus of 4 that will be 4 into 2 okay multiply by pi by 2 plus now for this integral 1 by 3 now p is 4 4 minus 1 4 minus of 3 now q 4 minus of 1 4 minus of 3 sum is what 8 into 6 into 4 into 2 again both the terms are even so multiply by pi by 2 so it will be 32 a raised to power 4 6 minus 1 5 then 3 then 1 1 over 8 into 6 into 4 into 2 into pi by 2 plus 1 by 3 now 4 minus 1 that will be 3 4 minus 3 1 into 3 into 1 over 8 into 6 into 4 into 2 into pi by 2 so 3 and 3 cancel out 3 1s are 3 2s are 6 okay so it will be 32 a raised to power 4 5 pi over 8 8 2 is a 16, 16 4 is a 64, 64 2 is a 128, 128 2 is a 256. Plus, here we have only pi over 8 2 is a 16, 16 4 is a 64, 64 2 is a 128, 128 2 is a 256. Okay. So that means we are having 32 a raised to power 4 into 5 plus 1, 6 pi over 256 so cancelling all the terms so we are getting 6 pi a raised to power 4 over 8 or we can say 3 pi a raised to power 4 by 4 that is your answer for this question hope it is clear to everyone now coming to the next question now this will be a homework question for you so just practice this question and do let me know what will be the answer 0 to 1 and then we have x2 root of x into x square plus y square into dy and dx. 